Hello everyone, welcome back to another corner of the internet, or welcome if you are new, my name is Smay, and today I am, I guess you could say, starting my reusable or cloth nappy journey experience, and I thought it might make a pretty cool video to kind of do a first impressions on the brands that I've decided to um, try out, and then also talk about like how it's going, going from disposable to reusable, and just kind of share this information just in case it's helpful for anyone else out there who is also wanting to start their cloth nappy journey. If you are new to my channel I had my first child, my son, uh, back in June of 2020 and I knew before I had him that reusable nappies were something that I wanted to definitely use. I'd watched a bunch of videos, I'd done a ton of research but I thought that I would get myself used to just being a mum and getting used to like nappy changes and those kind of routines of just having a child uh, before I then dived into the whole uh, reusable nappy thing but I kind of thought I was only going to be doing like disposable for like a month or two and then somehow my son is almost four months old or he will be four months old when you're watching this video so I don't know where that time has just gone um but a couple weeks ago I dived back into watching a bunch of videos and I found a bunch of videos from New Zealand YouTube creators which I'll leave a link to down below all of the videos that I watched um because I wanted to find out a bit more information about the types of brands that were available in New Zealand and I also knew that I wanted to uh, ideally purchase nappies from small New Zealand businesses as opposed to kind of like bigger overseas companies because of course you got to support local, you got to buy local. One of the videos I found really useful had the advice that you should buy a bunch of different nappies from different brands and find out which ones your baby and also you prefer. So that is what I've done. I have bought three reusable nappies from three different New Zealand brands um, and I thought I would give you my first impressions, tell you a little bit about the nappies before I start and then I think in like two or three weeks I will revisit this video and tell you how the experience has gone to go from uh, disposable to using reusable nappies. So what I might actually do is um, chuck up on the screen like all of the different prices and all the information about the nappies as I talk about them just to save me from like scrolling through my phone to look at it but the first nappy that I bought is from a company called Yoho & Co it looks like this the shell is uh, called their juniper shell because it's got juniper leaves um, if you know me you know that I love my gin and gin is made from juniper so I thought that was quite funny that I've got my child a nappy um, which reminds me of gin but alas this is the shell and I got a four layer bamboo insert uh, with this one and then I also bought an additional microfiber um, insert as well. So the Yoho & Co nappies are a pocket nappy so they have the pocket at the back where you will put the inserts and the inside is like a suede as well so hopefully all three of those layers um, will be nice and protective. The next nappy is from a company called Bear & Moo and I actually found um, out about these nappies through their YouTube channel. They have a bunch of really short videos talking all about um, the different types of terminology in terms of uh, reusable nappies a wash routine or how you should wash them, how you can pack the nappies and all information like that. So that will also be linked down below. I have uh, this one which is in like the Monastera um, print. It comes with a liner and then I also purchased a um, separate bamboo liner as well and then this is also a pocket nappy. And then the final brand I've chosen to try out is Tutti and I got this one which is the uh, Ziggy Stardust nappy. This one can be used as either a two-in-one or a pocket nappy and I'll show you what I mean in a second. Um, but just reading off my phone this one is um, soft suede again which is like the other nappies that I've got um, but this one came with two inserts which is also why I purchased additional inserts for the other two because I thought if this one needs two then I'm probably going to need two for the others and I wanted to be able to try I guess kind of like two inserts uh, for all three of the brands that I was trying so uh, one of the inserts in here is bamboo fleece which is um 80% bamboo, 20% fleece and then the other one is a booster which is hemp cotton. The two inserts come with domes. There is a dome at the back of the nappy here so that you attach, um, I think it's this liner which has two to it and then you attach this one onto the back and one of these liners is like extra long so you can fold it over um, like depending on if you have a boy baby or a girl baby um, just for an extra piece of um, protection. This nappy from Tutti was definitely the most expensive of the three. It was $28 and then I think it was like $6 for shipping. 
um, but I did have to then purchase like a separate liner for the other two that I purchased and then uh, I also had discount codes or there were like discount codes or sales going on for Yoho and & Co and Bear and & Moo so this is definitely the most expensive nappy but from what I've heard it's also the best quality but yeah I guess we'll see first impressions um, you know like the liners all seem pretty thick but I can't really tell any difference between any of the nappies at the moment they're all like very similar design so I guess we will just have to wait and see all right so today is Saturday the 10th of October um I don't know if I mentioned but I filmed like the intro clip that you would have seen on Wednesday and then over the past couple of days I have been uh soaking the nappies overnight just to make sure that they are like the most absorbent that they can be then I've put them through a normal wash I have dried them and then I've just packed them all ready to go for now I have um kept the tutti nappy which is the one that can be I think it's called a two-in-one nappy or a pocket nappy. Um, I've just kept it as a two-in-one to see what that's like. And then um, obviously I'll try it as a pocket nappy as well. Just as I packed them, I had to also uh, just quickly go back onto the Beremu website and look at the frequently asked questions of like how I do the liners because I couldn't remember which way to go. So I've got the bamboo liner on the bottom and then the microfiber liner uh, like on the top. For now, I've just kind of measured up how small I think he needs the nappy. Um, based on the size of the size 2 Huggies diapers that he's currently wearing but I'm just about to change him so I will uh, try one of these for the very first time see if they work and then I might have to adjust like what size setting I have them on um, if they're too small but yeah here goes the first cloth nappy all right so we have the bear and moo nappy on um i did have it on the right setting in terms of like making it smaller so it's in the middle one so i'm just about to go and feed him now and then play with him so i've just put some dark pants on him so that if we are having any leaks um then i should be able to like spot it straight away um but yeah one thing that I've heard some people say as like a con, but I don't really see it as a con, um, is that using cloth nappies, obviously they are a lot more bulky than a uh, disposable nappy, so that sometimes you need like bigger sizing of pants. Um, so Finn is four months next week, but in terms of clothing, depending on different brands, he is mainly wearing zero to three, but he still has a bit of newborn stuff from... Um, the New Zealand brand pumpkin patch because I've noticed that their sizing seems to be a little bit bigger um, and then he's also wearing a few little like three to six months stuff so these pants that he's wearing are actually newborn size and I do think I mean like ideally they would have come up a little bit higher but um, they do still fit him even with the cloth nappy on him which is good so yeah fingers crossed we have a successful first trial uh, with a reusable nappy okay it has just gone five o'clock excuse the slightly washed out weird angle I just have you up on Finn's shelf as I'm about to change his nappy so he's had this one on for almost three hours and luckily I haven't noticed any spills yet which is a good sign that has worked really well it's not that I didn't expect it to work I was just a bit worried um, you know because it was my first time using it a I didn't know how tight to do the reusable nappy um, obviously I didn't want it cutting off any circulation but I didn't want it to be so loose that it was like just not gonna hold anything but that seems to have worked really well so I'm pretty stoked with my first um, reusable nappy experience he is also feeling pretty dry which is awesome because the nappies that we use I think I mentioned it before are just the Huggies ones which uh, are really great for keeping the baby dry and like soaking up all of the moisture um, and I've used a few other nappy brands as disposables and they haven't always kept him super dry so yeah I'm really glad that he has obviously been really comfortable and the nappy has done its job and like absorbed all of the liquid. It is Wednesday the 14th of October, Finn is officially four months old today uh, and today has been my second day using the reusable nappies. I use them on uh, Saturday and then I think I washed them on like Saturday or Sunday and they've taken two days to dry um, so yeah we used them again today and we had our first uh, dirty nappy and then we also had our first spillage of a nappy which was the dirty nappy I don't know if it's me just like putting either a reusable or a disposable nappy on him badly but every so often if he is sitting and then he like releases his bowels um every so often we will have like leakage anyway it's just like if he's in like a certain position I don't know if his like legs are in a weird position or whatever but like the um wings whatever like won't fully contain the mess and sometimes it will spill out over to his clothes but yeah it definitely wasn't too bad cleaning everything off was pretty easy I think not as bad as it could have been it is Friday the 16th of October um if it looks like I've just woken up 
it's because I have. Um, I was just doing my morning scroll through my Instagram and essentially all of my like Instagram ads at the moment are for reusable nappies. One brand which I hadn't heard of just came up called Little BB Hive uh, and they are pocket nappies but from the looks of it they have like a second uh, like gusset on the inside to help keep everything contained. So I just wanted to just try another brand to see um, what their stuff is like. So I bought one nappy which was $14 and I don't know if they're just like going through a restock or if they just don't have very much stuff at the moment but on their website um, although they had like a shopping category for um, additional liners and inserts there wasn't anything available so I'll just have to see how I go with just the one microfiber liner inside the pocket nappy uh, and then eventually when I will be purchasing like a bunch of other nappies anyway I might just have to try and buy another liner for this one just in case. Yesterday although it was really cold it was sunny so uh, the reusable nappies that I washed on Wednesday night uh, all dried yesterday so I'll be able to use them again today which is good because I was a little bit worried like obviously when the weather's warmer your washing is going to dry sooner um, but what I don't want to happen in the winter when I'm using reusable nappies is that I have to have like racks and racks of reusable nappies um, sitting in my lounge for like two plus days while they dry um, so yeah we'll have to cross that bridge when we come to it I have an insert for my dryer which I think is like a shoe rack so you can put your shoes in the dryer and the dryer will spin but the shoes will like stay still so obviously they're not like clunking around your dryer. I'm kind of interested to try the liners in that so that they're not like getting tossed around um, so they're hopefully still getting a little bit drier but I don't know if they'll like shrink or like affect them or any way. I have to do a little bit of research and see if that's possible but that might be another thing that I can do in the winter um, to just get them to dry quicker. And as close as you can see these cute little feet popping into the frame. Finn is obviously just down here playing with some toys um, but it has almost been a month now since I have been using these reusable or cloth nappies. Um, I have filmed a few clips which I haven't edited yet but I filmed a few clips um, of like me going through the motions of using cloth nappies um, but I haven't been able to pick up the camera every time I've wanted to like like add something to my thoughts about them so I have been keeping a bunch of notes on my phone so what I thought I might do to wrap up this video is kind of just read through the notes that I've written um, on my phone. So I only have four cloth nappies at the moment so enough for kind of like the majority of one day's worth of nappies because Finn tends to go through on average five but every so often it's like um, seven or eight. Probably been using them maybe like once or twice a week maximum at the moment which definitely isn't ideal but the weather has just been so on and off it's been quite hard to like dry stuff if sometimes I've had to like let the liners dry um, inside on racks for a couple days and of course because they're like meant to be absorbing water they take longer to dry than some other stuff um but yeah I guess the first thing that I want to say about reusable nappies is that I wish I'd remembered that I wanted to do this earlier in terms of obviously you know like the upkeep and the management of reusing something as opposed to just like disposing of something after every use um it's not that much of a big deal it, like it's easy enough to add into my routine while we're on the subject in terms of a cleaning or a wash routine I have just been using a plastic bucket that we already had in the house um to store the nappies in between using them and washing them and then I saw in one of the videos videos that um, I think I've linked down below I can't remember which one it is but someone talked about using a silicone brush to help clean the nappies um, or like to clean off like the dirty nappies so I have bought this one which is from Kmart um, it definitely helps when you need to like scrub away obviously like a little bit of poo and it's way more hygienic than using like a brush brush with bristles because obviously this is um, like silicone so it's a lot easier to clean okay so then in my notes I have written kind of like my impressions about the different nappy brands so um, I've kind of paired Bear and Moo and Gioho and Co together because um, the nappies from them are pretty much the exact same just like different brands and stuff so for that I've said that like the first time that I used them I checked the liners and I was really surprised at how wet the bottom bamboo layer was um, the suede nappy which is obviously the shell that's like touching him um, was almost dry which is really good that it's obviously like sucked up all of that moisture and I've written that I'm not sure what it would have been like without that additional insert but then I bought another nappy from another brand where I only was using one liner so I'll talk about that a bit more in a second. Um, I also wrote that um, for dirty nappies it was all contained other than the first time which I can't remember if it was Biramu or Yoho Co but I was using one of those nappies and I just don't think I did it up tight enough so there was a little bit of um, a leakage but otherwise all the other times that I've had 
dirty nappies um it's like been all contained for the tootie nappy which is the one that uh could be a pocket nappy or a two-in-one nappy um i can definitely see the benefit in it being a two-in-one nappy or using two-in-one nappies if baby never wets down to um like the suede liner of the shell um every time we've used the tootie nappy he has like all well, the liquid has gone down to the shell so I don't really see the point in two-in-one nappies if that is the case or like what's the difference between two-in-one and pocket nappies um but also I don't know if it's because Finn is still like a small baby and I have the nappy on like a tighter setting but the liners especially for Tutti just feel like really really big on him and the nappy felt super bulky before it had even like had any liquid in it um and even just like picking Finn up he felt heavier in terms of uh using it as a two-in-one or a pocket nappy it didn't seem to make any difference in terms of catching and containing mess from dirty nappies which is obviously a really big plus and then for the nappy that i bought kind of like halfway through um this month i haven't used that one as much obviously because i only got it a couple weeks ago um but that's the one that has two gussets but i only had one microfiber liner for it the microfiber liner seemed a lot wetter than like for um the Yoho and Co or the Bear and Moon nappies when I've had a microfiber and a different one but it still contained obviously like all of the liquid and there wasn't any uh leakage so I'm now wondering if I maybe even need to be using two liners if at the moment one seems to be sufficient so I think the next step will be to try um the BB Hive nappy with an additional liner and see if the microfiber liner gets as wet and then also try um Bear and Moo or Yoho and Co just with one liner and see if that also suffices. Finn hasn't yet had um, like a dirty nappy while using the BB and Hive one so I bought that hoping with the two gussets that it would contain you know just like whatever's coming out um but i can't speak for that yet because it hasn't happened yet for all brands i've written that it doesn't really seem to be any different to finn i wondered if like the different textures or the different bulkiness compared to just like the disposable nappies that we've been using would like feel different to him but if they did feel any different he didn't seem to like make any signs that it was feeling different so i'm guessing it didn't bother him at all which was great i kind of mentioned it before but all of the nappies feel a little bit too bulky for him right now because i've had to shorten the shell of the nappy um and even though i can do that the liners obviously stay one size as he grows that won't be a problem that's just like something that i think is more noticeable for me right now than him i also bought a swim nappy as well from yoho and co i'll chuck a photo just here of what it looks like because um i think it's like still on its way into new zealand i pre-ordered it so it hasn't arrived yet but that would be really exciting to use in the summer. There is a baby expo um, in about two weeks from me, I think. It's like mid-November, so whenever you're watching this video. Um, and I've seen on Instagram that people like Bear and Moo and Yoho and Co have been at the other baby expos around the country. So I'm hoping that they are at um, the Wellington Expo and then I can buy a few more nappies. There's been a few other brands that I have like seen as well that I kind of want to try. So I'll see if they're at the expo. Then I also want to look into reusable wipes because although... Um, I'm like obviously reducing my carbon footprint by using reusable nappies then I'm using like um, just disposable wipes and even though the wipes that we have are like eco wipes you know they're still wipes so I want to look into reusable wipes next I think all of the brands that I've mentioned um, sell a variation of them so I just need to like figure out which ones I want to buy and buy some of them I think that is pretty much everything that I wanted to cover off uh, in terms of my uh, first month into my reusable nappy journey super easy i'm really looking forward to buying a few more nappies and being able to like do this longer term um i also need to look into uh night nappies because i think i mentioned at the beginning of this video that we still planned on using um disposable overnight because obviously um if finn is like sleeping through the night we're not changing his nappy so there's a lot more likely to be like a fuller nappy but i have seen a few of the brands um Either, I don't know if it's like the liner combination or if they just do like thicker nappies, but I have seen a few of the brands talk about doing night nappies, so I need to look into that as well. Yeah, I'm really happy that I, you know, like finally got around to starting this journey because now I can't imagine not being on this journey in terms of reusable stuff. Um, and it's just nice to know that um, I'm reducing my carbon footprint, as I said, a little bit. Um, and then also the reusable nappies are just so much cooler to look at than like the disposable nappies, especially in the summer when he's going to start like not needing to wear as many clothes that like, you know, the nappy can almost be like a feature of his outfit. Um, so yeah, hopefully you have enjoyed seeing this video. Um, there'll be a bunch of links, as I probably mentioned at the beginning of this video, down below in terms of the nappies that I've bought, um, resources that I found useful and things like that. 
Um, if you have any questions, I don't know how much help I'm going to be, but feel free to leave them for me down in the comments. Or if you have any, um, you know, tips and tricks in terms of how you use reusable nappies, if you have a favourite New Zealand brand, um, please let me know down in the comments. That is all from me. I will see you all next time. Uh, have a really lovely day, a really lovely week. Bye.